this one. <laughs> What is going on guys? Happy 4th of July. Today's going to be a pretty good day. We're going out to the same spot as in the dam. Yep, same spot, House of the Lunkers. Uh, we're going out there with more shrimp, more hooks, more weights, because why not? Hopefully there's not a lot of snags today. I know there's been a fa the past few days, but hopefully that's not the case today. Um, hopefully we rack them up. Let's go. Got some new rod reel combos. I got me a new Shakespeare Tiger rod reel combo. Definitely heavy action. Show me your show. Now me and Noah both got grid sticks. You know it's going crazy. We can see that. Baby, ah, catfish, bro. I don't even have them anymore. All right, guys, we're back at the dam right now. Um, that spot over there is currently flooded. That's our usual spot. Uh, it's rained a lot within the past few days, but it's a nice, beautiful 4th of July day. It's bright blue, uh, clear skies, bright blue. No longer hazy like it used to be, but you can see it's still pretty foggy out there. But over, overall, pretty good day for fishing. Uh, yeah, I kind of wish our spot wasn't flooded, but we're making do with what we have so far. We're getting bites over here. Noah's already gotten two little catfish. I've gotten some bites. I've gotten some bites, missed a little baby catfish. As of now, this is looking like one of our only spots we can cast, so who knows, we might go to a different spot. If I catch like one 10 to 15 pounder, I'd be fine with moving somewhere that with smaller fish, but if I haven't get, gotten anything, I'm gonna be desperate for a big in. I hooked into a solid big in right over there, but I lost him. There's fish surfacing all along there. Apparently Noah's been, oh, there's a gar right there. Yeah, there was a gar surfacing right there. Oh, we both got hits. Bro, set the fuck out of that hook. Set the daylights out of that hook. He cut it, look. Straight snipped it. You see that? You got one? I got something. Oh, he's strong. Bring him up by me. He's not he's not big. I could probably boat flip him. Dude, they feel so big whenever they're in the current. There we go. This catfish has to tingle my line. There. All right. I don't know if, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if my camera got that, but. Fish number one of the day, decent little channel cat. There he goes. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Another tiny one, bro. Boat flip. Another little golden fella. There he goes. All right, me and the boys are ready for the fireworks tonight. 
Wish us luck. These are gonna be pretty loud. What is going on, folks? It's the next day. Uh, yesterday was not the fishing trip we had planned for. Yesterday was planned to be a day where we were gonna catch fish nonstop because the water was gonna be not too high, but it was gonna be pretty high. And it ended up being so high that our whole spot was flooded. And that was just not, it was just not fishable. The trees were all in the way, scattered throughout where we were standing at originally. So today we're gonna try to go back out there, but this time if it's low enough, I'm actually gonna wade out into the water a little bit to see if I can get in there anyway, just to make some casts. All right, boys and girls, I think we are back in business. As far as what I saw, the water is not. Oh. Oh. There's the day that I die. <laughs> Clowning around in here. As I was saying, we're back at the beautiful, luxurious house of Lunkers the Dam. What is the rapids, the dam, the house of the Lunkers, the dam, the river, the dam. We're here. I don't know how high the water is today. I am hoping that it is low enough where I can at least make some casts. Oh, the water's nice. So my rod's right there. From what I can see, the rapids get deeper around right there. So I'm gonna make my first cast right around that area. So far, still zero bites. I mean, still zero takes. I've gotten some hits, but no takes. Oh, that's a hit. That's a smack root and a half. Oh, big in, big in. Oh, oh, that's a smackaroo and a half. Get over here. Okay, he's not huge. Don't get caught on my line, you stupid. Oh, you're not going anywhere. There it is. There it is. Feisty little one. That's a solid eight pounder. Skunks off the board. Let's release this feller. <laughs> my rods are both in the water. X sure is good for my gear. <sighs> Go. See you later, fella. There it goes.
I might have just doubled up. All right, fish number two of the day, around the same size. You guys, I told myself I wasn't gonna do this. I told myself I wasn't gonna go out again. Well, I have the day off and I'm bored. So I'm going out again. Like I said, I did not think I was gonna be out there again after the luck I've been having the past few days, but I'm going for the three times a charm today. Uh, First time the spot was flooded, second time the spot was taken. The spot is not flooded, but it is almost noon. And that is one of the best times for catfishing in our specific area. So I will not be surprised if the spot's taken this time. So let's hope it's not. You guys, he has something down there already. So we already know the bite's gonna be on. Sigh of relief today because the spot is not taken. Looks like he's still fighting that fish down there. We are all good today. And this is what I meant by the water flooded our spot. It's completely underwater right now. I brought this hoodie with me because it's all dirty. So I'm just gonna use it to wipe my hands off with. And I'm gonna take this way over here to keep it out of the mud. I'm kind of tired because I just ran back to my car because I forgot this mount that's currently on my head i gotta re re-rig both of these real quick Let's see how fast that gets a bite this one's actually really low on spool and i don't know if i'll have enough time to re-spool this one without having to get up and hook into a fish. So I'm just gonna cast this one out in the shallows. A little too shallow. That's more like it. All right, let's see which one gets a bite first. Usually this one that's casted out farther always gets a bite first. And then like halfway through the day, that's whenever they start biting on this one. And then they stick to this one. It's really weird. So I really don't know how it's gonna go today. Especially with the water being this high, like anything could happen. See, just like that. Oh, fish on. Oh, fish on. Oh, he's a fighter already. <laughs> oh, he's a big fella. He's right here. Oh, man. You're a fighter. <sighs> now you gotta be really careful for these things barbs. They have barbs on their fins. If you're a if you're a fisherman, you're like, well, obviously. But like, if you're new to fishing, they got barbs on their fins right there. They also got one on their dorsal fin right there. And so uh they can really hurt you. This one I one of them actually got me yesterday on my finger right there. We're all good. Decent little channel. He bit really hard for the size of this thing it's not super big we'll let you go oh oh we got we i think we double boys With a small one, I think. Yep, we doubled up. That's my second double up of the year. First one being this time. Cool little guy. 
there you go. Oh, I believe we're getting a bite, guys. Oh, he's not hooked very well at all. We gotta land this fish. He's not hooked very well at all. Hello, little buddy. Welcome to the club. Oh, there he goes. Oh, hello there, fella. Oh, no way. No way. No way, bro. No way. Get over here. No way, dude. Barely even hooked. Check that out. Check that out. Wow. Wow. Right here, right now, baby. In the rain. Let's go. Fly ahead, catfish. Let's go. What a cool looking fella. That is only my fifth flathead catfish I've ever gotten. That is so cool. And this has got to be like a solid six, seven pounds, maybe eight pounds. That is so cool. All right, we're going to let him go. He's probably going to splash me. Yep, there he goes. That is so cool. Let's go. Hopefully we can hook into a big in. 30 pound flatty, 30 pound flatty. That would be so cool, actually. A 30 pound flathead catfish in the rain. Cast it about right there. Just drop shot rigging it with the shrimp, man. That does the trick. There it is. There it is. Oh, he's a big in. Get in here, buddy. You're mine. You're mine. Yeah. You're mine. Let's go. There he goes. Welcome back. Welcome back. There you go. Now he's gone. Oh my gosh. I wasn't recording and I just got a gar. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. I just got a spotted gar. I just got a spotted gar. Oh my gosh, I just got a spotted gar. That is so cool. I touched him. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out right now. That is so cool. So cool.
Alright guys, once again, that is going to do it for this video. If you like that video, make sure you subscribe, leave a thumbs up, maybe even comment, turn on that post notification so you stay tuned for the next video. Today was the best of the last three days for sure. Um, I got a channel, a flathead, and a guard all free today. I thought that was pretty crazy. I liked how I got the flathead in the rain, and I like how I got the gar out of nowhere. That was so unexpected. Overall, though, today was a pretty successful day compared to the other two days. But like I said, if you liked that video, make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment, maybe turn on post notifications, and we'll see you in the next video.